Stop running away from God. You know God wants to use some of us in significant ways, but we keep running away. We keep pushing God away. We keep hiding from God. Oh God Almighty. We keep drawing back into depravity. Oh God Almighty. But I want to encourage somebody today to stop running away from God. Let's go to the Bible. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 38 and 39. And my righteous ones will live by faith, but I will take no pleasure in the one who turns away. But we are not like those who turn away from God to their own destruction. We are the faithful ones whose soul will be saved. So I'm not talking about those who are the faithful ones who will remain flat-footed for God, who will stand up for God, those who are willing to go the extra mile for God. No, I'm not talking to you this morning. I'm talking about those who, no matter how God is calling you, you keep running away from God. You keep dodging, you keep hiding, and you keep um, putting God off, you know, until another time. You never I want to accept Him and surrender completely to Him. But today, this word is for you oh god almighty you come upon this word not by chance or by luck but this my friend is a word for you today don't run from god stop running from god oh god almighty you might not even live to see another day amen repent my friend surrender completely to him even today while the, you still have time and while the blood is still running warm in your vein my god you need to hear this today you did not come upon this video by chance or by Look, it is the will of God that you are seeing this today because you need to hear repent. You need to hear surrender. You need to hear stop running away from God. God want to save you. God want to save you from eternal damnation. He want to save you from a life of depravity, a life living in sin and going down to a place of eternal destruction. God want to deliver you from the hands of the devil. The devil's hand is upon your life and you can not be blessed oh god almighty if you continue to reject god don't reject god oh my god but accept him surrender to him some of you might even accepted him but you have one foot in the church and one foot in the world this cannot work my friend you have to have both feet in the body of christ so that god can use your life in significant ways my friend you need to surrender completely to god you need to put aside everything even though that very thing that is keeping you away from God, put it aside. Oh God Almighty. Sometimes it is some little things that we love so dearly and we don't want to put it aside. But I'm encouraging somebody, no matter what that thing is, no matter how small it might seem, my friend, don't let it keep you away from a relationship with God. Amen. Because that is what matters, my friend. Nothing else is as important as having a relationship with the true and living God. Praise God. Put Put that thing aside and surrender at the foot of the cross. Repent even while the blood is still running warm in your vein. Cast every sin and every iniquity and every devil's work aside, my friend. And let go and let God have your life. Let God take control of your life. He wants to bless you, you know. He wants to enlarge your territory. He wants to give you abundant uh, grace and mercy and blessings. But you have to stop hiding. You have to stop uh, um, running away from God. You have to come boldly before the throne of God so you can find grace to help uh, in times of need. Praise God. And you need the grace of God because if it wasn't, praise God, for the love of God, amen, none of us would be um, saved. Praise God. None of us would have hope of eternal life. None of us uh, could talk about, uh, I am going to be saved or, or I, I know where I'm going. I know Amen. Joy bells are ringing. Praise God. Happy children are singing. I know where I'm going. We couldn't say we know where we are going because 
Amen. God has to first send his son into this world to die for our sins. Amen. Because it was the shedding of blood that, uh, oh, God was responsible for the remission of sin. Praise God. So, my friend, don't run away from God. Don't hide from God. Don't put him off for another day. You might not live to see another day. Today, while the blood is still running warm in your vein, while you still have time, repent and surrender completely to him in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not by might, nor is it by power praise god this might not be a word for everybody but you know my friend yourself you know yourself and you know that this word is for you amen and you are going to take your little part out of it and you are going to digest it and you are going to get down on your knees and repent before the true and living god and you are going to take my friend the yoke of god upon you because his yoke is easy and his burden is light praise god no running no more running my friend you are not getting any younger or you are not getting praise god any any better by running away from god it's getting more serious and every day my friend that pass god is watching and he is giving you more time to repent the, the fact that you are still alive is god is still giving you time to surrender completely to him so that he can have his way in your life my friend so don't keep running because you might run this time praise God you might hear this word this time and run oh God Almighty and never live to hear another word oh God Almighty from the servant of God or from any other servant of the most high God so if you are hearing this today harden not your heart and stiffen not your neck but surrender repent of your sins so that God can have his way in your life in the mighty name of Jesus praise God because remember we serve the true and living God and with him all all things are possible praise God I want to pray for you this morning that God will help you to make up your mind to surrender completely to him and not to run from God anymore not to put God off anymore until another time because there might not be another time amen praise God if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and will heal their land that's the word Word of God. If you will just humble yourself and pray, my friend, and turn from every sinful and wicked ways, then God will hear, hear from heaven and he will deliver you from whatsoever your situation is in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, let us pray, my friend. Most righteous and holy Father, this morning, God Almighty, we thank you, God, for this word. Praise God. Stop running away from God. Don't run from God. We cannot hide from you, Lord God Almighty. Oh, God, we cannot continue to put you off God and expect that everything is all right God you are our creator you are the one who created us and formed us in the womb of our mother oh God Almighty so it is just right God Almighty for us to surrender it is just right God for us to repent it is just right God for us to serve you it is right God Almighty for us to cry out Abba Father in the mighty name of Jesus and seek your face even while the blood is still running warm in your vein I pray for every unsaved oh God today who are seeking who are searching oh god almighty they are searching in this world to find peace to find joy to find happiness oh god almighty in the things of this world in the things of this life but they will never find happiness god almighty in these life in this these things oh god because they don't know you god lord jesus the only peace of mind can be found in god amen praise god and joy is in you jesus because the joy of the lord is our strength praise god i pray that somebody god will receive these word God and will repent of their sins God Almighty and surrender foot completely God Almighty at the foot of the cross I praise God so that you can have your way in your life God touch even this person God Almighty who this word is for Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray that this person will not oh God Almighty reject this word but will stick with this God and believe you God Almighty and trust you and surrender completely to you not running anymore God but repenting Lord Jesus and accepting you as their Lord and Savior God bless their lives in significant ways help them God to make up their mind oh God Almighty to serve you God to run the race God that is set before them and to repent of their sins God Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God Almighty no more running no more putting it off God help them Jesus to do it now before it is too late they might not live to see another day I pray God Almighty that somebody will take this seriously God and repent of their sin God Almighty 
and put your first God. Have your way right now, Jesus, as they make up their mind, God, and make preparation, God Almighty, to find themselves in a church, God, a Bible-believing church, God Almighty, so that they can accept you as their Lord and Savior, and that they can serve you, God Almighty, out of a heart of uh, gratitude, out of a heart of thanksgiving. God, have your way right now, Jesus, as we believe you, God Almighty, that you will help somebody today, Jesus, oh God Almighty, not to run anymore, oh God, but to surrender in the name of Jesus, we pray, amen, amen, praise God, God bless you, have a blessed day now in the name of Jesus, no more running, my friends, surrender, it's time to surrender now to God, repent of your sin and surrender completely to him so he will bless your life in a significant way in Jesus' name, have a blessed day in the name of Jesus, like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel, my friend, praise God, and these are the two videos YouTube think you should watch next, so go and check them out. They will bless and encourage you in, in the Lord. In Jesus' name, my friend, be blessed.